Hi everyone, my name is Janae Butler and I'm the Communications Specialist for Erie's Public Schools and I'm here to show you how to log into the Schoology online platform using your iPad. Before we get started, make sure that you have your student ID and your password as you'll need both of those to log into the Schoology platform. Your student ID is six numbers, it's the same as your lunch number. In case you don't have access to that or you're not sure what it is, feel free to call your school and they'll be able to provide you with that information. It's also an Infinite Campus, but again, if you're not sure how to access Infinite Campus or if you're having trouble navigating it, just feel free to give your school a call and they'll be able to set you up. Once you have your student ID and your password, you can log into Schoology. So once you have your iPad turned on, the screen should look something like this. And while the apps may be set up in a different way, what's important is that you have the Schoology shortcut available on your screen. And as you can see on my screen, it's set up in the bottom left corner because that's where I placed it. But it could be anywhere on your screen. And as long as you just see this S with the blue circle around it, that's exactly where you need to be. So select that and then immediately pulls up a shortcut that takes you right to the login Schoology screen. So once you're here, you're going to enter your username and password, and your username is your student ID. So I'm going to enter my information, and keep in mind this information that I'm entering, this is just for purposes of this video. Each student has their own individual ID number and password. So after you enter that information, you're going to select login, and then it'll pull up a screen that looks like this. So keep in mind, when you log into Schoology for the first time, it may not be so populated just because our teachers probably are in the process of still uploading things. So if you don't see such an active account when you log in, don't worry about it. It'll get there eventually. What you need to do to log into your classes and be able to interact with your teachers and peers in live time is go over to Courses, which is over here on the left. And then once you're there, you'll see that you have all of your all of your classes are listed. So once you get to that screen, then you can pick a class, whichever one you're trying to connect with. I'm going to pick Rick's course. Once you're in that screen, you'll see that there is a separate page set up specifically for this classroom. And which area you're going to want to get to is the one that says updates because that's where your teacher will post updates and changes and information that you might need. So you're going to select that and it's over here on the left hand side right under materials. And once you are in that section, you should be able to see at least one option that your teacher posted with a Zoom link. I'm, it's not, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to look. I think it's going to depend on the teacher, but it should say something along the line of Zoom or Microsoft Team Meeting instead. So you're going to select that and then it immediately takes you into Zoom. And in case you're unfamiliar with Zoom, that is a video platform that you're going to use to connect with your teachers and peers. So once you log into Zoom, it may ask you to type in your name. Sometimes it bypasses that, depending on if you already have a password and a user account set up. So if it does ask you to type in your name, just go ahead and do that, and then click Join Meeting, and then you should get a screen that looks like this. So as you can see, that little circle, this says waiting for host to start this meeting. So the host is going to be your teacher. So once you're at the screen, this means you did everything right, and then your teacher will get a notification that you're trying to join the class. Your teacher will let you into the class, and then you'll be able to see your camera turn on, and your audio will turn on, and then you'll be able to interact with your teachers and your peers in live time. So, in case you have any trouble getting to this level or if you have questions, we're all here to help. It's very simple to at least get here. And then once you are actually in Zoom, your teacher will be able to provide you with further instructions on how to interact with your how to interact with your fellow students in case you have any questions on that and you're unfamiliar with the platform. So once you get here, that means that you did everything correct and you're good to go. And in case you do have questions about this, we have a variety of information and resources on our website. Please visit www.eriesd.org reopen. And we also have a helpline available as well if you're having technical difficulties or any other questions as well. And all of that information is also available at our website.